What's going on guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna learn how to add and sync our business transactions into our QuickBooks online to track our income versus our expenses. Now, let's see how well we can match our banking transactions into QuickBooks online. So here is my best advice. Try your best to distinguish your personal banking accounts from your business banking accounts. I know it's tough to keep them separate, especially if you're a new business owner starting out, but try your best. You will do yourself a favor and save a ton of time in the long run. First things first, what are we doing? Well, let's update this. Click on update in the top right corner. It's gonna take a second. And after it's done, it will be perfectly synced with your bank. That means if you're a Chase bank member and you log into chase.com, exactly what they show in your bank account will be exactly what they show in here. If we are by date, let's look at this real fast. And maybe I jumped the gun. We're just right over here in banking. So let's look at the things, let's click on that. Click on each one of these things. It could um, change it by date, alphabetical order, depending on which category or match. And let's look at that. Now, order of importance. Some things are more important than others and let's talk about those. Here's your balance. Here's how much you have in the account. Here's how much that you've spent. No, I'm sorry. This is how much which has gone on in the account. The QuickBooks doesn't know how to categorize or match. See. QuickBooks does a pretty good time doing its autopilot thing where if you go out to dinner and you've got like a McDonald's receipt, it's going to do a, uh, it's going to do like a meals and entertainment expense. So what I'm going to look at is like, click on this right here where it says uncategorized expense. Now, right down here, here's how QuickBooks categorizes our income and our expenses. You can scroll through this advertising and marketing. That's an expense. These are all tax write-offs car and truck, contractors, insurance, interest paid. Let's go down a little bit further. Equity, if you have yeah, retained earnings, stuff like that. And then income, sales, uncategorized income. So this, like I said, if you use your personal account and you flip flop your business and personal account and you're not that organized, QuickBooks is gonna assume that, I don't know, maybe a check you get from your grandmother for $200. They're gonna look at that as uncategorized income, which is tax deductible. So like I said, this is my checking account. This is a personal checking account. So let's clean this up a little bit. There's some things that I want in here and there's some things that I don't want in here. These 207 things right here, these items, these are what's showing up right down here. Now again, this is my personal checking account. There is a lift uh, that was not business related, even though you probably could get away with it. Amazon, if it's green, I've already uh, if it's green, that means it recognizes it from um, previous category categories, la la la. But here's some things what we should look at. For review, these are the 207 things right here. It's going by date. It used to go back to 90 days, I think it goes to 60 days in the new QuickBooks Online version. Here's which is in QuickBooks. This is my personal checking account. So I'm gonna be very specific. I don't want every single thing just to go into QuickBooks. And here's excluded, here's what I wanna take out and get rid of all these things. Here's what I'm gonna to wanna to do. Let's say that a meals and entertainment expense, yes, let's add it. What is this, 750, let's add it. We'll say that that was for a business meeting. We will add it. And this number will change now. We went down $7 to 206. And so now it is in our QuickBooks, we have that as an expense, Carlsbad chocolate bar. Uh, and if you wanna undo it, click on that, click on undo on the right hand side and it will be right back for review. Say that I only have two things that I want to go on. I'm gonna say that uh, this is an online transfer. I'm gonna go ahead and just say that it's a sale. It is not a sale, but for the sake. And let's go to add. We're gonna talk about split and match in the next video, but let's go ahead and add it. And we're going to, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We will say that these meals and entertainment, or these uncategorized and meals and entertainment, these were all, let's batch options action. Can we batch these? Add, accept selected. There we go. So we went from what, two of this to that, to. 211 to 203 or whatever the number was before 207. This is great to look at our profit and losses. And to say I wanna get rid of these, say these these were just all personal accounts. Well, now what I wanna do is do batch and let's just go to exclude all of these and that's it, just like that. So we are all caught up. Nope, we've got more, it just went to a different date. Batch options, we'll get rid of this 
And little by little, the more you get rid of, this number is going to go down. It's pretty much impossible to have these numbers check out at the end of the year um, unless you are by the books keeping track of everything, your tax write-off, every income, every expense. It's obviously way easier if you do your taxes quarterly over a year. I've never got these two numbers to check out. Keep in mind, this bank and credit cards, this is what we put into QuickBooks for our profit and loss statements. This is what our reports, click on reports over here. Run. So we just had the one sale. We've got a couple meals, entertainment expense, obviously. Okay, it's got a couple disclaimers, even more customization. That's fine, this is good enough. We've got our date here, Larry's Hot Dogs, this and that, net income. We're not doing so hot. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the gist of it. So go back to, where's our banking? Everything that you have that is a business expense, log it into your QuickBooks. Everything that you have that is an income, a business income, log that into your QuickBooks. Uh, that's kind of the gist of it. Not recognized. We're going to talk about some of these more of the some more of these things in the next video. There is a couple things you could transfer. You can split. You can match. So if you have. I don't know, maybe a check you're writing to the same vendor instead of a category, you could just match that. That is kind of the gist. I do not know if this was a good video. I might redo it. It sounds, I didn't write anything down for this video. I kind of feel like I'm rambling on. That's the gist. Every bank statement you have for your business, whether it's a personal or business checking account, log it in your QuickBooks online. Again, don't be a stickler over these two numbers, yada, yada, yada. If it pisses you off, and you don't know what it's for, and it's probably not tax deductible, just exclude it, get rid of it, that's it. If you guys have any more questions, comment in the comment section below. Good luck with this. In the next video, we're gonna talk about transferring and matching, and why is it green? We'll talk about that in full detail. Fine match. Thank you so much, guys. See you in the next video.